I'm Mandy Lewis Houston. If you've seen any of my other videos, thank you for coming back. And if this is your first time here and you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button and the bell so you'll know when I upload more. Um, it's June 1st and what that means for a great deal of people is it's time for the 30 by 30 direct watercolour challenge. What that means is we're painting without an underdrawing, which is really tricky, um, but it's a great thing to practice. It focuses the mind and helps you be more uh, aware of where you're putting the paint. Um, it's tricky and I struggled with this uh, little sketch here. As you will see, it didn't end up great, but it's a start. I decided I wanted to approach this particular sketch by using a uh, negative drawing. That means I'm painting the space outside of the cockatiel's shape. Oh, it's a cockatiel, or it should be. Um, my daughter breeds them and I thought it would be a fun subject to begin with. Um, didn't realise it would be quite so tricky and I will know better next time. Maybe when I come back and repaint this little guy in a few days, I will have improved enough to do it justice. Uh, that didn't happen in this particular one, uh, which you'll see at the end, uh, but you know, early days and got to start somewhere, right? The idea is to paint every day and improve. And I know from previous experience, if I do do this every single day for 30 days, I will see quite a bit of improvement and um, it will be it will be just worth worth the effort definitely for sure. This is really where I should have left things uh, alone, but instead I decided to colour down in front of the bird's chest there and I lost some of the um, contrast between the background and the bird. Uh, I feel like it worked fine on the back, but as you will see, I went a little bit crazy and this would have been a good place to stop once the eye was in. Not that it did very well, it ran, but you know. It got worse. It got much worse. Here we go. So 
So one of the things I need to learn um, during this month long challenge is knowing when to stop. Um, I should have stopped, but here I am still going on and now I'm gonna ruin it even more. This would have been okay, but now I'm adding this darker gray and it's it really is not it's not working anymore um i've made the background muddy and you know it's a learning curve so i'm going to keep this one on my desk and add to it every day and see how i do um just for the curious i'm using three inch by three inch square paper it's b paper that I cut down to size specifically for this challenge and my paintbrush is a squirrel mop. Thanks.